Good afternoon. I'm Deacon Ragnar. Are you Mrs. Staley's sister? I'm Mercy, yes. You're just the person I'm looking for. May I come in and talk with you for a spell? Are you part of Reverend Jenkins' church? Well, yes, I actually am, but it's the Lord's church. And you're familiar with Pastor McKnight, aren't you? Yeah, I know him, yeah. He's also our pastor. Well, I, I guess so. Come, come on in. All right, thank you very kindly. Have a seat. Well, thank you. You know, y'all really do need to do something about that, Pastor Jenkins. She ain't doing nothing about your church. She's not helping your church any. Well, that's not really true. Pastor Jenkins, she has a lot of love for the people, and she's been a real blessing to our church. But my sister is dead because she didn't come that day. Mercy, may I call you Mercy? Yeah. That day, Pastor Jenkins had a lot on her plate. And had she known that it was an emergency, she would have come immediately over. But my sister is dead and is in hell because she didn't come that day. What? What makes you say that? My sister committed suicide. That's unforgivable, unrepentable sin. She's in hell. Well, let's talk this thing out. Did your sister accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and her Savior? Yes, she did. We did that as children. Did she love him? Did she serve him? She did until she got sick. We had to take her to the doctor. And what did the doctor say? Well, now I'm just going to tell you, I don't understand depression, but that's what he said she had. And um, he gave her some medicine, that drugs that would help. Did they? No. No, they didn't help. Couldn't get the dosage right. She got worse. Mm -hmm. She stopped thinking right. She went into this deep fog. Well, let me make this abundantly clear. Under no circumstances should Christian ever consider committing suicide. However, the drugs affected her thinking and certain drugs, they caused you to think about committing suicide. So do you think our Heavenly Father will condemn her to eternal punishment? I don't know. Well, I do. Our loving Father has accepted your sister into his loving arms. And now she's with him forever throughout eternity. Forever and ever. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Oh, gee. That just really takes a burden off my heart. Mm. Good. Then let's get this burden of sin off of you. Me? Mercy, when you talk about Pastor Lynn, there's such anger in your eyes. I know, but it's because I miss my sister so much. I understand. But if you don't forgive Pastor Lynn, and let this hatred continue to be in your heart. Your Heavenly Father won't forgive you. Do you want that to be your last dying breath? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. But what, what do I do about that? Well, let's pray. Please. Please, let's pray. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your forgiveness. Lord, we thank you for your grace mm. upon us right now. Yes. We ask, Lord, yes. you to forgive us for unforgiveness. And, and, Lord, remove this burden of hatred from Mercy's heart right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. So that she can love like you love. Yes. And, Jesus, we pray right now that you would heal her, God, from this situation of her family. And we pray for all the families that have been affected by suicide. Oh, yes. 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 Father, we thank you right now. And we love you for your mercy and your grace and your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. I needed that. Amen. And we love you so much. Amen. Yeah, I'm kind of glad you came by. Amen. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on in, Maddie. The door's open. Good morning. 
Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't expect y'all. I know, but we wanted to come by and see how you are doing. I'm doing okay. I'm just fighting this little sense of failure, and for that I apologize. I know I should be more mature than that, but this thing has really devastated my heart. Lynn, we don't see this as a failure. And you're the best thing that has happened to this church in quite a while. Yes, and we need the old you back. You got us so excited about moving forward in God. And we can't do this if you're... If sit you're going to sit around and feel sorry for yourself. Ouch! That doesn't exactly make me feel any better. Well, maybe this will. Lamar? Well, I just wanted to say that everybody, well, not exactly everybody, wanted you to know how much you're appreciated. When I get you home. Anyway, the Lord spoke to me and reminded me what a special dog could mean to someone, what Huckleberry means to me, and how the Lord used you to help me keep old Huck a little while longer. And we're sorry you lost your last poodle, so we decided to get you another one. You. Oh, mm. Mm. oh, he's gorgeous. And I've never had an apricot. What do you name him? I don't know. Yes, I do. George Washington McClintock. GW for short. Because he's going to be strong and smart and everybody's going to love him. Oh, I can't believe it. Hey, he's hey, gorgeous. Hey. Hey. Pastor Lee, guess what? This is called double portion. Two? Y'all got me two dogs? When the breeder found out why we were getting you these puppies, she thought that these two babies shouldn't be separated because they love each other so much. And because our gift is all about love, she gave this one to us too. Gave them to you? Mm. Ah, but they're so expensive. How How'd you afford the first one? Everybody pitched in. Even all the new members from Pastor McKnight's church. And, surprisingly, even Deacon Hall. Come here, you. I want to squeak those little cheeks. <laughs> oh. Oh. I just don't know what to say. They're wonderful. Hello, everyone. This is Mercy, Hello. Mrs. Daly's sister. Hello. Reverend Jenkins. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was so ugly and so rude to you when you came to my house. I, I slammed the door in your face. I am so oh, honey, sorry. Don't, don't even think about it. They can help me understand. They can help me process this. And you couldn't have stopped my sister. You couldn't have stopped. Her. We are the ones that are so sorry for your loss. If there's anything I, we can do, we want to be there for you. Yes. Thank you. But the deacon helped me process her, her death and losing her and God's movement in it. I, I just am so sorry for how I treated you. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just don't know how this day can get any better. I guess joy really does come in the morning, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now give me my puppies! Give me my puppies! Ah, oh, look at this baby! Oh, you guys, they're gorgeous! My double portion! <laughs>